Thank you so much, Zoe Gold. Yes, we are talking kitchens this morning. Do you have a kitchen nightmare? Well, then you need to go to our Facebook page, Express Our Morning Show, SABC3. Or perhaps you want to redo it. What comes first, the budget or all the money that we want to do it? Well, a Caesar Stones expert, Lisa Espling, is with us in our studio. We're also taking your calls this morning on 83 913 We've got Philippa on the line from Sedgefield. Philippa, what's your question or comment? We're live. Hi, um, I want to know, in the past you had to have your kitchen with your stove, your wash basin and your fridge in a triangle. Is that still a rule? And the other thing is how close can your washing basin be to your stove? I think there was also electrical rules about that. Ah, okay, so yours is purely about electrical and building. Very good question. Thank you so much. So Philippa is asking because she's clearly going to redo. What are the rules around that, so around the triangle and also how close water can be next to electricity? Okay, so the triangle is still a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, yeah, the triangle is really a practical rule and it's really just trying to create a, a kitchen design that's efficient. Right. Because you really don't want to have your fridge on one side and then your oven on the other and your wash area in a completely different area. It's just going to take you that much longer to prepare every single meal mm. every day. So that, that rule still applies, but yeah, try and reduce the, the walking distance as much as possible. I think that's always advisable. Okay, and, and distance about electrical and water together? I mean, immediately I'm thinking washing basins or even a dishwasher for that matter. Well, I can't speak to the exact uh, sort of electrical principle, but I think just use common sense. You don't want to have it right next door, right. but I mean, I've got a really small kitchen and uh, it's two steps away. So, <laughs> you know, that's been signed off. The plan's got signed off for that, so I'm pretty sure. No, I hear you. It also, okay. Philippa, experts, they are so keen to, first of all, charge you money and also to give advice. So I'm sure they will be able to tell you about the electrical complications about that too. Well, if you're just tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Zone, our, our, well, Feel Good Breakfast Show, uh, Caesar Stones the expert is here. Lisa Aspling is here. We're actually going to go with our pictures. We've got, we want your uncensored uh, comments really so we're going to show you some pictures i mean uh, take a look at this so uh, a, a kitchen that we need advice on um uh, in fact a uh, design a uh, kitchen number one uh, there it is uh, what can you tell me about this i mean the, the design trends are on their way out right <laughs> this to me looks like a kitchen that may have been installed 20 to 30 years ago okay uh, the reason you can tell that is the dark wood uh, and the white you can see that that oven's quite old looking. Mm -hmm. So something, a quick way to update the look of your kitchen would be to replace and update the appliances straight away, but also I would go lighter. There's too many wood tones going on there, there's just too much going on. See, to me it looks practical because I can make baby bottles there and the fridge is just <laughs> next door. Okay, but I hear what you're saying. Okay, well we've got more for you. Uh, kitchen number two is 90s, colour and design. Please give us some uh, some advice. Uncensored scoop, please. Okay. Expert. Yikes. This, uh, <laughs> this kitchen oh, no. is well. She said yikes. <laughs> <laughs> this kitchen is well. It's looking quite dated. So yeah. one thing you could probably salvage from this one is that you can see on the cabinet doors, they've got the, the uh, Quaker style, which is almost like the framed look on mm -hmm. each of the cabinet doors. That's okay because you can still turn this into a more traditional country style kitchen, which I think there's a bit of that going on. But paint it white. Do something a bit different there. And I would say do something with that island. It's kind of, it looks obstructive to me. It looks like it's going to get in the way of everything. See, I look at that kitchen and the one thing that, because my kitchen looks like that, and the first thing everyone always goes is you can't paint the wood because it's real wood. That's the first yeah, you thing can. That, ah! You can take the word. They all say that. Okay, well, listen, you've given amazing advice. Thanks for joining us this morning. Listen, Lisa's one comment this morning was, even if it's small, it can still be yours. And just make it beautiful and bring light in. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money. If you are planning a, a crucial and successful kitchen remodel, well, hey, you should know exactly what to do and what you want. And all you need to do is, well, spend more time on the planning before the project actually begins. Uh, being very specific in your planning is the best way to avoid blowing your budget and you and you can enjoy the kitchen of your dreams. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. Lisa from Caesar Stone on our Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning, our expert answering your questions. And also remember, the conversation always continues on our Facebook page. Express Your Morning Show, SABC3.